The day after Donald Trump's inauguration saw hundreds of thousands of protesters take to the street as part of a women's march on Washington. The organizers' mission was to champion women's rights, which in turn champions all rights. But individuals marched for more personal reasons. We talked to some of the crowds, crowds which were filled with picket signs, rally cries, and pink hats, often with ears. Uh, well, they, they do kind of look piggy, but that's because I had a, an incident with my water bottle. Um, but they're, they're, they're a reference to the, uh, the, the pussy cat uh, notion that we are cats, but here we are roaring and, you know, scratching for attention. And, and we deserve to be heard. Some liken the march to those of yesterday. Marches for civil rights, gay rights, and women's suffrage. One woman went so far as to dress like a suffragette herself. Yesterday was our dark day. Today, I'm here to rebuild the hope that I've lost over the last couple of months. It's been a tough time, and I'm here to feel like I'm not alone, like I'm part of something. And my costume is kind of to reflect that, that we've been fighting for the same things for And you see behind us, there's just mobs of people. This isn't even the original route that the Women's March was supposed to take, but there are just so many people that people just started spontaneously marching down, not just, you know, the regular streets. They're marching down a bunch of streets in parallel. It's really, really an interesting thing. It's unlike anything I've seen before. It's probably the largest protest that I've seen in my life. Right here in Washington, D.C., it's really something interesting and, and special. Even walking around, it's like, you know, someone was telling me they're getting knocked into because there's just so many people, but everybody's saying I'm sorry and saying excuse me. It's, it's really an interesting crowd and just a, a, a good energy. For Boston University, I'm Charles Borsos.